Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dwebrin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to enable various hidden features in numerous Google apps. So from time to time, Google tends to test out numerous features, but it's undergoing testing, A-B testing in the back end and it will not be visible in the front end. First off, it does a testing with its own team and then those tests are rolled out for the beta tester and only then it is given to the stable users. So in this state, when the app is being tested by its internal A-B testing team, you will not be able to see those features in the app. However, the features are still there in the backend. So using a nifty workaround, we could easily get hold of all those features and enable them. This way, you will be able to get hold of all those features that are currently not there for the stable users. However, do keep in mind that these features are currently being tested. So they will be in a unstable state. They might be in an unstable state. So proceed ahead, keeping this point in mind. And moreover, in some cases, you might have to be on the beta version of the app. With that said, you could carry out these tweaks across all the Google apps. For instance, I have done the testing from in Google Messages, Photos, Camera, Gmail, Gboard, Maps, Phone, and YouTube. So in all the Google apps, whether the third party or the system apps, you could unlock the features in all these apps in just a few taps. So on that note, let's get started. Just keep in mind that in after enabling the feature, you will have to do a force stop a couple of times for the feature to be activated. And in rare cases, you might also have to remove the data of that app if the force stop does not work. In my case, just doing a force stop a couple of times does the job. There was no need for the data to be removed, but if a need arises, you might have to do that as well. So keeping those points in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to root your phone via magisk. So for that, I have made a separate guide and a video on the same. In short, if your phone came with Android 12 or older version, you will have to patch and flash the boot IMG. On the other hand, if your phone came with Android 13 or older or higher version, you will have to patch and flash the init boot IMG file from the stock firmware, which is currently installed onto your phone. So you could refer to my guide and root your phone. Once you have obtained root and magisk as well, you could then move ahead to the next step. So now you will have to install the GMS Flags app from GitHub. It's an open source app. You could verify its source code as well. So simply go to its release section and get hold of the latest APK file from here, GMS Flags APK. And now you have to install the app onto your phone. So just a minute, let me do so as well. So let's install the app and tap on open and tap on start. And it will now ask for the root. So tap on request root. And then you will have to tap on grant in the super user request that appears. It will now have got the root request. So now you have to tap on request for notifications. You may also skip this if you want. It's completely optional regarding the notification. Once that is done, just tap on finish and the app is now loaded. You will get a warning sign that to apply the flag, you will need to force stop several times in the settings menu. It's the same thing which I have told beforehand. So that's well and good. And in the first tab, which is the suggestion tabs, you will see all the most useful and most beneficial as well as the most popular flags. So as you could see, you could enable these toggles. So for the sake of reference, let me show you one of these. So let's try and enable the call recording feature. So currently, if I open the phone phone app on my device and go to the settings menu, you could see I don't have the call recording feature. As you could see from here, there is no call recording. So with the help of this GMS flag, we could easily enable the call recording. So just enable the toggle next to it. Once that is done, minimize the app. And now you will have to do a force stop of the phone app. So let me first launch it. Now minimize it. And now I'll have to do a force stop. As I have told you before, you might have to do a force stop a couple of times before the feature could go live. In my case, just doing the force stop a single time did the job. As you could see, the call recording is there and I could now easily record calls and save them as well. And all the other features are there as well. So this was the first feature in the GMS flag. These are all the most useful and the popular and the latest tools that you could make use of. 
so new memories tab in the google photos floating navigation bar in google photos g on space in gboard so let me try that as well you could also expand these flags and open the gboard and open the app info directly from here so that will prove to be useful once you enable the flag flag you could tap on open app detail settings and it will then take you to app info and from here you may do a four stop if gboard is currently not visible then let me open the app and now it should be visible here so let's just do a four stop now and now let me launch the gboard app and check out the result so as you could see i have a g icon in the space bar so it was visible only for a few seconds let me show you once again as you could see it's the floating g icon which is enabled so likewise you may enable the features from here apart from that you may also go to the app section and from here you may expand all these apps and enable the flag according to your requirement but in this case you will need to get hold of the flag name as well so here you will have to manually enable a flag so for instance let me show you one tweak for the gboard app so let me see where is the gboard so here is the gboard app expand the gboard app and then select the package name always choose the primary package name from here let me show you one change so as of now if i open the gboard and go to the settings menu have a look at the resize icon as well as the resize menu the ui of the resize is as follows likewise even the resize icon please take a note of the resize icon as well and the menu ui as well so let's now change both of them to change them let's we will have to search a flag so inside the gboard flag let me search for a flag name it's the flag name i guess new underscore ui and enable the flag next to use new ui for keyboard resize and once that is done you will now have to minimize it and now do a four stop of the gboard flag so let's four stop the gboard app let me do so tap on ok and now let's launch the gboard app and verify the result so if i now go to the resize as you could see the icon has been changed likewise the ui of the resize has been changed i am now getting the reset and the done buttons over here instead of the icons i am now getting these two buttons so the ui has been changed so along the similar lines you may tweak as many flags as you want and change the result just keep in mind to always choose the primary app package name and from there you may then get the job done so primary app package name and always be in the boolean tab the integer floating and string are not required all the main values are there in the boolean tabs only so you only have to enable or disable the required tab to enable or disable the feature do keep in mind that some features might require a beta version of the app for example the gboard tweak which i have just shown requires you to be on the beta version of the gboard app so in that case you just have to go to the play store and then you will have the option to be a beta tester simply tap on join and then you will be a beta tester once that is done you could then simply enable the flag and upon enabling the flag just do a restart or rather the force four stop and after that the feature will be enabled so guys before rounding off there is one important thing worth keeping in mind do keep in mind that these are undergoing ab testing at a regular interval so google might remove this flag as and when required you might not be notified of the same as well so these flags are not permanent if you are watching this video a couple of months later it might be the case that these some of these flags might not be even there and instead of that you might view have some new flags as well so the removal and addition of flags are undergoing every other day so it's just up to you to expand the packages choose the packages and then enable or disable the required flag and then check out the result as per the convenience and the feature that you want so as you could see over here there are various options in each of these apps some of these are play store apps and some of these apps are the pre pre-installed system apps likewise if you find a flag useful or convenient for instance currently i have a gboard flag which i have used so let me show you the for instance currently i have enabled the new ui flag so you may also do one thing simply long press on the flag and hit the bookmark icon then that flag will be saved 
So the next time you launch the app, you could easily access the flag from the save section from here at the bottom right. And since we have saved the flag, it will be there in the flag section. As you could see, we have the save flag. Likewise, if you save a package, then you will be, you could get hold of that from the package section. Let me show you. Let's long press on that and save the package. If you want, you may also save the package and then it will be shown in the package section according to, to your need and convenience. So guys, on that note, we round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.